Hi, this is Zach from Fish on Fishing, and I'm here to talk to you about what to take with you when you're straight bass fishing. The first thing you're probably going to want to bring is your fishing poles. You can use red different poles from bait casters to close face reel rods to uh, spinning rods. I like to use either a bait caster or a spinning rod most of the time. Second thing is a tackle box. Here I have a smaller tackle box, but it fits my needs. In the tackle box I have sinkers, uh, anywhere from a 1 ounce to a 6 ounce, a bucktail jig, a topwater popper, a Rapala shad wrap, an eel-like lure, and a deadly dick, which re resembles a uh, sand eel. I also have a variety of different hooks, including circle hooks, J-hooks, and even leadered bait-holding straight bass hooks. I like to use a laser-sharp eagle claw straight bass hook, and this is a six-off. Of course, they're snowed. Um, another thing would be some fish finder rigs. I like to have a good handful in my tackle box just in case I'm fishing in a rocky area where I might lose some. Another thing would be um, a couple of beads. I like to put beads on the leaders for my striped bass hooks just to do a little action going. Next would be a um, a pocket knife. I like to have a pocket knife so I can cut line, cut bait. Um, if I have to cut a hook out of the fish's mouth, um, even like if I was cutting herring into strips to use as bait or even to eat, um, pocket knife would be fine. Uh, also the chum, whatever. Um, Another thing you're going to want to have with you is a net, a good quality net. I have a very large net because some of the fish I catch can push uh, 50 pounds, and other of the fish I can catch can go under 6 ounces, so I have to have a big net. But um, if you're on a smaller boat or a kayak where a net can't really be used, I would recommend a good quick a pair of bogo grips, which are basically uh, a tool that you'd be able to grip the fish's lips with, and um, it also most of the time tells you how much the fish weighs. Other than that, I'd recommend that you also bring a scale so you can weigh your fish, and a tape measure so you can see how long your fish is to uh, see if you could keep it. Uh, they have to be 28 inches in Connecticut, and you can only keep two of them. Another thing you might want is some uh, extra line. I have trilene, um, monofilament, big game, 40-pound test line. I like to use it for my leaders as well as on some of my rods. It's a very good line. It's very heavy. It's tough. Uh, you use it anywhere from straight bass to catfishing, whatever I'm doing, but it works very well for straight bass. Another thing you might want when you're straight bass fishing, fishing is um, a good uh, a good pair of pliers because when you hook a big straight bass, sometimes they will swallow your bait, so you're gonna have to take a hook out of the fish's mouth deep in their mouth, so that's one thing you might want to keep in mind. Also, um, you might want to keep uh, some weather gear, because when you're fishing for striped bass in the northeast, it can be very rainy, very sunny, very can be snowing sometimes, it can be icing, it can so always have what's appropriate for the season. Um, sunglasses in summer, of course, and rain 
coats in the uh, spring. But other than that, I think I've covered most of what the basics of what you need for striped bass fishing. And uh, I hope this video helped you. Uh, until next time, I'm Zach from Fish on Fishing. Good fishing to y'all.